kiosk connectivity assembly and disassembly. The team leader will verify the two seal numbers on each kiosk match the numbers on the seal report. After the seals have been verified, use the wire cutters to cut them. Place broken seals in any gray crate. Open the latches on the kiosk box. Take out the instruction sheet. and the foam tray. Also take out the power cord and set to the side. Use the green corner straps to lift the base plate out. Set it on the table and tuck the straps under the base. Install the scanner by plugging it into the spare USB port on the base. Set the scanner next to the laptop. Install the tablet stand. Insert the notch into the base slot behind the label printer. Tighten the knob into the base behind the laptop. Set the signature pad on the table to the right side of the laptop. Plug the power cord into the receptacle slot with the yellow border. Place the mouse pad on either side of the laptop. Move the card activator and the other cords from behind the laptop to the left side. Take the Ethernet USB adapter, also known as a dongle, out of the foam tray and plug it into the laptop. Now plug in the laptop power cords. Take the stylus out of the container and clip it to the back of the signature pad. Occasionally tighten the cap on the stylus throughout the day to keep it from falling off. Turn on the wireless mouse. You will see a blinking red light after it is turned on. Place the screen cleaning pad on the stand above the knob. This will keep it from getting lost throughout the day. Plug in the power cord. The receptacle is on the front of the kiosk base behind the label printer. Plug the other end into the surge protector. Place the stylus and instructions into the foam tray. Place the foam tray back into the case and latch the case. Store the cases in the large storage box until it is time to break the kiosks down at the end of the day. Tape the power cord down in the middle of the table so that the voter has room to place their items down and you have room to place your paperwork on the other side. Place the scanner on the stand. This section will cover logging into the laptop and into Vote Safe. Power on the laptop. The on button is directly above the F7, F8 keys on the keyboard. Left click on the mouse to bring up the login box. Enter the username and password. This information can be found in the accordion file under passwords. Double click on the VoteSafe padlock icon on the desktop. Wait for VoteSafe to finish loading and then click on Click Here to start. Scan the barcode for the VoteSafe password. 
Passwords can be found in the accordion file under Passwords. Click on Login and then click on Click Here to continue. Insert the Team Leader card chip up into the card activator. Enter the Team Leader PIN number. The PIN number can be found on the password sheet in the accordion file. Turn on the signature pad by pressing and holding the power button until you see the screen turn on. Check that there is a green light on the card activator, the scanner, and the printer. Verify that the laptop is set for the correct polling place. Also verify that the operator is correct. Each laptop will be set sequentially for the operator, starting with the lowest to the highest. Using the blue buttons to the lower right of the screen, test the printer, activator, and signature pad. These tests need to be performed at the beginning of VoteSafe. Should you proceed to voter lookup before accomplishing this, the buttons will disappear. You will need to log off and on without closing the polls and the buttons will reappear. Click the Test Printer button. The printer should print a test label. Insert a vote card into the card activator, chip facing up, and press Test Activator. The message, Card Burner Test Successful, will appear in green in the upper left corner of the laptop screen. Take note of the poll worker kiosk name on the laptop screen. This name should appear at the bottom of the signature pad when you click the Test Kiosk button. This tells you the signature pad is connected to the laptop. Get the gray crate containing all of the cables and the laptop case with the Meraki device and the Skyus modem. Both the laptop case and the gray crate can be found inside the storage box. Place the equipment on top of an empty gray crate next to the table that's closest to the wall. Tape the power cord down under the table starting from the wall to the Meraki device. Connect the two antennas to the Meraki device. Make sure they are screwed in snugly. Plug the power cord into the Meraki device. Check the password sheet in the accordion file. This will tell you whether your site has a wireless connection using the Skyus modem or a hardwired connection using the facility data port. If it is a wireless connection, assemble the Skyus modem and plug it into the side of the Meraki device. Set it next to the Meraki device and not on top of it. The device gets hot during the day. Connect a Cat5 cable to the end of the dongle at the kiosk and tape it to the table so that it does not get disconnected throughout the day.
connect the other end of the Cat5 cable into any of the ports 3 through 12 on the back side of the Meraki. Make sure it is not connected to the Internet 1 or 2 sockets on the left side. Continue to connect each kiosk to ports 4, 5, 6, etc. As they are connected, a green light will appear. The dongle should also have a green light. Click No when this message appears. The light on the front of the Meraki will flash through several colors from red, not operational, to solid white, operational. The Meraki may flash between several colors until connection is made. Hover over the monitor icon at the bottom right of the laptop screen. This shows you are connected. Check the right hand side of the VoteSafe screen. It should say online in green next to connectivity and it should say connected next to voter screen. Connect the CAT5 cable to Internet 1 or Internet 2. Connect the other end of the CAT5 cable into the data port at the wall or on the floor. Connect a CAT5 cable to the end of the dongle at the kiosk and tape it to the table so that it does not get disconnected throughout the day. Connect the other end of the CAT5 cable into any of the ports 3 through 12 on the back side of the Meraki. Make sure it is not connected to the Internet 1 or 2 sockets on the left side. Continue to connect each kiosk to ports 4, 5, 6, etc. As they are connected, a green light will appear. The light on the front of the Meraki will flash through several colors, from red, not operational, to solid white, operational. The Meraki may flash between several colors until connection is made. Hover over the monitor icon at the bottom right of the laptop screen. This shows you are connected. Check the right hand side of the VoteSafe screen. It should say online in green next to connectivity and it should say connected next to voter screen. Click on continue to voter lookup. Connect the signature pad to the stand. Loop the security lock around the table leg. Insert the cable into the right side of the laptop. The kiosks are now set up and ready for voters. Put in the code to unlock the security cable. The code can be found on the password sheet inside the accordion file. Check that the number on the kiosk box matches the number on the kiosk. This way you are ensured that you are putting the kiosk in the correct box. Take out the instructions and the foam tray. Turn off the mouse and place it inside the foam tray. Power off the signature pad by holding the power button down and then swiping down on the screen. Remove the dongle and disconnect the other cords from the left side of the laptop. Place them in the groove behind the laptop. Place the mouse, the stylus case, the dongle, and the screen cleaning pad inside the foam tray. Place the mouse pad on top. Unplug the signature pad. 
slide it off the base and place it upside down inside the foam tray. Disconnect the tablet stand. Place it in the foam tray with the knob towards the top of the tablet. Disconnect the scanner and the power cord from the base. Untuck the straps and use them to lift the base assembly and place it into the case. Place it with the label printer to the back of the case. Tuck the straps down along the sides. Place the foam tray on the base assembly inside the case. Place the scanner on top of the signature pad and tuck the cord behind the label printer. Coil the main power cord and tuck it between the label printer and the case. Place the instructions on top, close and latch the case. The team leader will seal each kiosk with two thick wire seals. Once the kiosks have been packed and sealed, they will be stored back inside the big storage box they were in in the morning.